Hi, Jeff Spiro here again, and today I want to talk to you about boat shaft length or outboard motor shaft length and, and how that fits into my boats. Uh, we've we've uh, talked a bit about uh, you know wells and different things uh, in these videos, but I really never talked to you about you know how to modify or adapt your boat to use um, uh, different shafts of motors. Now, a lot of you have written to me and said, "Does this use a short shaft or a long shaft?" And uh, you know that's that's a tough question. It's not. I I call it a standard shaft when it's the middle because there are um, there are extra long shafts as well. Um, but uh, but basically basically I'm going to break it down, and, and that's only for larger motors, by the way, not for small motors. Um, so, so really we're going to talk about short shafts and standard shafts. So um, the shaft length of a motor is measured from the clamp point down to the um, uh, cavitation plate. Now I'm going to put a picture up here in case you don't understand what parts of the motor that are. And uh, that's the dimension that they, they talk about as shaft length. So. Um, with all the manufacturers now, uh, in, in small motors and in, in uh, medium power motors, let's say, you know, uh, from, from two and a half horsepower up to, uh, oh, I don't know, 75 horsepower or, eight or eight, something like that. Um, these, are, these are either short shaft or standard shaft. Now a short shaft motor is, um, is 15 inches in this, dim in this dimension. Um, <clears throat> I'll put the uh, metric equivalent there. And a standard shaft motor is, um, is 20 inches. Okay, so that means between the um, cavitation plate and the motor mount, we want, uh, you know, you want to count on that being 20 inches or 15 inches. I know these vary a little. Some Hondas are a little longer, and you know it, it, it varies a little bit. You know, some of them are as much as 17, but don't worry about that at this stage. Um, so it's all on a question of how to build the boat for what size shaft motor. Um, for the vast majority of my boats, unless they're little tiny boats, um, you know, a standard shaft is the preferred size. Most motors are made in 20-inch shafts, and I'm, I'm going to say from you know, 10 horse to, to 75 horse. I mean, I, you know, the, any, any boat that uses one of those size motors would be best served using a 20 inch shaft, standard shaft motor. Um, and, uh, and I dimension most of my boats uh, to do that, except for some of the very small ones, I, which I design around short shaft motors. But, um, you can look at the at the drawing of the transom, and and in some cases it'll just give you a dimension like, like, you know, 15 inches, <laughs> and in others it'll it'll say uh, it could be 15 or 20 or 25 inches. So um, and, and and that's the dimension from the motor mount board to the bottom of the boat. Now, if a, if a uh, if it's a V-bottom boat, that's to the point of the V, and if it's a flat-bottom boat, that's to the uh, uh, the flat of the of the transom. Um, <clears throat> now, this just changes a little bit if the transom's tipped. You know, I get it. You know, because uh, um, because of the angle involved in it, and you could trig it out and it come out to an eighth of an inch or something like that. But I wouldn't worry about any of that stuff at this stage, not when you're building it, um, but I, you might after it's built and you check the performance of it. But And then you also have the thickness of the of the bottom skin to add to that. So if, if you, um, if it's got a little tip, say 12, 12 degree tip, so that, uh, that takes away some of that distance and the thickness of the, of the uh, skin on the bottom will add to that distance. So, you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other. I just wouldn't worry about it. I would build it, build the transom to 20 inches if it's, if you're going to use a uh, uh, standard shaft motor and 15 inches if you're going to use a short shaft. Now, if you if you decide uh, that you want to change in the middle of it, you know, for, for some reason, 
um, you can or change the boat for instance you can add uh, you can change the location of that uh, and if you look in the back of the um, uh, ply on frame manual there's a drawing there that will show you what, si what distance to put for uh, short shafts, standard shafts, long shafts, and extra long shafts. And the, the long shafts and extra long shafts are typically in larger motors over, over uh, um, you know, 80, 90 horsepower or something. You know, you, you can get them either way. You can get them as 20 inch or you can get them as 23, you know, something like that. So um, there was a time when there were a lot of very small motors made with 25 inch shafts. Um, but uh, uh, that's and then they were mostly used. They were mostly used as auxiliaries for uh, sailboats. But um, but that's that's just not you know it's not not a thing that you want to do in your power boat that you build from me. So so I would stick with the the fifteen, the twenty, or the twenty five, and most preferably with the twenty. And and the reason is if you decide to sell your motor or buy a new one or go on Craigslist and find a deal on one. You know, um, then chances are probably 75 or 80 percent that it's a uh, standard shaft, a 20-inch shaft. So, so I would I would stick with that in general uh, on on most of my boats, most of my mid-size and larger boats. So, um, anyway, that's the that's the score with uh, with motor shafts, and uh, hope you uh, hope you enjoyed that, and and it came out useful for you. So. Um, the best way to help me here is to like, share, and subscribe this video and, uh, um, you know, share it with your friends, whatever. Go, go down and visit my website. This video is going to be on my website as well under, under the uh, boat building videos as well as on YouTube and I'm probably going to put it on f uh, the Facebook group as well, uh, Boat Building and Builders. So um, anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.